building bridges. Hi there. My name is Dan, and welcome to Science Time, experimenting at home. I'm at home today, but there are lots of really fun experiments that you can do at home. And today, I thought we could experiment with bridges. Have you ever seen a bridge before? Maybe you've driven across one in your car on the way to Questacon. Or maybe you've seen a big famous bridge, like the Sydney Harbour. Bridges come in all sorts of different shapes and sizes, and that's why there's so much fun to do experiments with. So here, I've got a lot of things that I found around my home. I've got some paper, and some cardboard, and some toilet rolls, and some blocks, and some sticks from outside. I've got tin cans, I've got some toys here too. In fact, there are so many different things that you can build bridges out of. You could try building with some blocks, or with some books or boxes. There are so many different options when it comes to experimenting with bridges. Now, my little animal toys are super duper excited to go for a picnic. And Giraffe wants to take them to its favorite picnic spot. But, oh no. The picnic spot is on the other side of this river. And there's no way across. It's too far to jump. Ooh, it's a bit too dangerous to swim. Hmm, can you think of a way that we can help our animal friends get across the river? We could build them a bridge. Okay, so let's maybe start off with, ooh, we'll put a couple of blocks on either side of the river and then maybe grab a piece of paper and put that across the top. Okay, our bridge looks pretty great and it does get across the river. But it, do you think it's going to be strong enough to hold up our animal friends? Hmm. Now, when you're doing an experiment, it's important first to ask a question, and then you have a think about what you think might happen, and then you do your experiment to find out. So the question is, do you think this paper bridge is going to be strong enough to help our giraffe friend get across the river? Have a think about what you think might happen and let's experiment to find out. So we'll just pop our giraffe friend on the bridge. Oh no, it fell down. Hmm, our paper bridge wasn't quite strong enough. In fact, it bent in the middle here. Like, actually that gives me an idea. Maybe we could add some extra shapes to our paper bridge to make it a bit stronger. And this bent bit of paper is bent into something called an art shape. Like an arch across there. Have you ever seen an art shape before? Maybe you've seen one on a bridge or maybe on a window. In fact, art shapes are really good to build buildings out of because they're super duper strong. In fact, even an egg has an art shape on the top of it to help keep the shell nice and strong. So if we just bend our piece of paper in between the blocks, like that. Okay, and then we can put another piece of paper over the top. Wow, our arch bridge looks pretty great. But do you think it's gonna be strong enough now to help our giraffe toy get across? Have a think about what you think might happen. All right, and let's experiment to find out. Here we go. Whoa, oh, oh, wow. Our arch bridge is super duper strong. In fact, it's strong enough to help our giraffe get all the way across to the other side of the river. That's pretty cool. Hmm. Do you think our, our arch bridge is gonna be strong enough to help our elephant toy get across? Hmm. They feel pretty different. The giraffe toy feels a bit lighter and the elephant toy feels a lot heavier. Hmm. So I wonder if this bridge is going to be strong enough to hold up our heavy elephant toy. Have a think about what you think might happen. And let's experiment to find out. Okay, over we go and... Oh no! What happened? Yeah, <laughs> our bridge fell down because our elephant toy is so heavy. Hmm. It means we need to build a stronger bridge. Maybe we can try adding some more strong shapes to see if that helps. 
Hmm. Here, I've got a piece of paper and I folded it back and forth into a fan. Can you see that the edge of our fan is made up of lots of little triangles from all the zigzags? Now, triangles are a super duper strong shape, which is why they're very good for building things. So maybe if we put some triangles into our arch bridge, it'll make it even stronger. Let's have a try. We'll put our arch in between our blocks and then we'll put, ooh, lots and lots of triangles across the top. Okay. And we'll put another piece of paper on top. Whoa. This bridge looks fantastic. But do you think it's going to be strong enough to help our elephant toy get across? Have a think about what you think might happen. And let's experiment to find out. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, look at that. Our bridge didn't even fall down. Those triangles have made our bridge super duper strong. I wonder if our bridge is strong enough to help all the animal toys get across all at once. Let's see. Okay, we'll put line on and zebra can come up the back here and little baby elephant can go on the top. Look at that. Our bridge is so strong that now all the animals can get across all at once. And when you're doing experiments with bridges at home, maybe you can try by putting the toys on in different orders, or maybe trying lots of really small toys or a couple of really big toys. Experimenting with different toys on your bridge is a great way to test how strong they are. Hmm. Now another really fun experiment you can do with bridges is to try and build them out of different materials. And like I've said, I've got lots of different things that I've found around my house that we can try and build bridges out of. One thing that's really good, a toilet rolls. Now, toilet rolls are a pretty cool shape. They're a shape called a cylinder. And they have a circle at the top and the bottom. And then they have long sides like this. Lots of things are a cylinder shape, like tin cans or even some bottles. Maybe you could even roll up some pieces of paper like this to make some cylinders. Now, cylinders are also a really good shape for building. They can be used to make something called a column. Now, the thing with columns is, if you press down on the sides, they're not very strong. But if instead you press down on either end, no, they're really, really strong. So maybe we could try putting some columns in our bridge. And maybe instead of using paper this time, we could try some cardboard. Now here I've got some cardboard from my recycling bin at home. Maybe you could ask your grown up to cut you some cardboard in some great bridge building shapes like this one. Now cardboard feels different to paper. Cardboard is a bit heavier and paper's a bit lighter and cardboard only wobbles a bit and paper whoop, wobbles a lot. Hmm, so maybe building a bridge out of cardboard might be a bit different. Let's see. So we'll put a bit of cardboard across our columns there. Looks pretty good. In fact, do you think our cardboard bridge is going to be strong enough to hold up our elephant toy? Have a think about what you think might happen. Let's experiment to find out. All right, so far so good. And wow, this cardboard bridge is really strong. It's strong enough to hold up the elephant toy all by itself. That's pretty cool. But there are still lots of different things that you can experiment with bridges with. Like you could try and make a really tall bridge or a really small bridge. What about if it's been raining a whole lot and the river gets really full? So we've got to make a really long bridge for our animals to try and get across now. Hmm. Do you think this long bridge is going to be strong enough to hold up our elephant toy? Now, when you're doing an experiment, it's important to do a fair test. And that just means that you try and only change one thing at a time. Otherwise, if you change lots of different things all at once, you won't know what it is that made your bridge stand up or fall down. 
So here, we're going to do another experiment, but we're going to try and keep as many things the same as possible. So we're using the same piece of cardboard and we've got it on the same two toilet rolls, same two columns. Okay. We're going to test it using the same heavy elephant toy. The only thing that we've changed is how long our bridge is. Now, do you think our long bridge is going to be strong enough to hold up our elephant toy? Have a think about it and let's experiment to find out. Put the elephant on across the top. Oh, oh no, our bridge fell down. The long bridge wasn't strong enough to hold up the elephant. Hmm, maybe we could try adding some more columns to help make our bridge stronger. What about if instead of two, we had four? One, two, three, four. Okay, and we can put our piece of cardboard across the top. Now, remember, we're gonna try and keep as many things the same as possible. We're only gonna change one thing at a time. So we're using the same piece of cardboard and we're gonna be testing it using the same heavy elephant toy. This time, we're gonna have a long bridge, but the thing that we've changed is that we've got two more columns underneath. So we've tried to keep everything else the same, and the only thing that's different is the number of columns. All right, what about now? Do you think this cardboard bridge is gonna be strong enough to hold up our heavy elephant toy? Have a think about what you think might happen. Let's experiment to find out. Okay, so far, so good, and <gasps> wow. No problems at all, it's not even wobbling. All those extra columns have made for a really strong bridge. In fact, I think this time, we could also try and put even more toys on top. And we'll put the giraffe back here, it's a bit crowded, and look, <coughs> even the little baby elephant can go on this bridge without it falling down. We've made a super duper strong bridge out of cardboard and columns. That's pretty cool. Well, there are so many great ways that you can experiment with bridges at home. You could try making a really long bridge or even a really short bridge. You could try building a really tall bridge or a really small bridge. In fact, you could even experiment by measuring how many blocks or weights you could put on your bridge without it falling down. <gasps> Oh, there are so many fun ways to experiment with bridges. And I wanna know what it is that you find out. So when you're experimenting at home, I want you to record your experiments. You could take a photo of your bridges, or you could take a video like I have, or you could even draw a picture of your bridges and then send them to us at Science Time at Questacon so we can know what it is that you've discovered. There are so many different fun ways to play with bridges. And I hope you have lots of fun. Thank you for coming to Science Time, experimenting at home. And we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.